Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Amir right now, and right now we're gonna continue on let's play of Nino Kuni. Let's recap on what we did last time. I'm actually less tired now, which is nice. Anyway, as I was saying last time, what we did is we talked to this character over here, and she's like, "Yo, I closed my heart off so no one could get in because I had some bad relationship experiences, so no man can date me." And this guy's like, yo, you ain't having my daughter, so shoo shoo. And I'm like, yo, I just wanted them bananas. I mean, bananas. That's all I wanted. I didn't want your daughter. I mean, just because her hair is yellow doesn't mean that it's the same yellow as these lovely bananas. I mean, it's not like I wanted to eat her hair out or anything. I wanted to eat this. This is what I wanted to eat, these bananas. Which don't even look like these little <laughs> fruits here. Yeah, this looks so weird. I'm sorry, it just does. I can't help the way I feel. This looks so strange. But anyway, alright, I think that's it, I, I looked around for some treasures, I didn't find anything. So I guess that was a waste of time. Anyway, let's head on over to our world. And use a gateway spell. Now that we have a nice wand, it won't break on us, right? Yes, I hope it won't. Now we encounter little girl P or Foo or whatever her name is. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get a little pissed. Because she keeps following us, man. I don't like when people follow me. So this is where it takes us every time, in the middle of the street. Or in the middle of this... Oh well, there's a do not enter sign, so I guess I'm alright. So I guess this is a safe spot, right? Unless it's a drunk driver. I ain't gonna get hit by no cars, right? Young Esther in some way? Did they introduce her name? I don't remember. Uh-oh. Well, we got... Wait a second! The girl from the window, right? Yeah. Yeah. That it makes sense now, because she's always so closed off and far away from everyone. Yeah, it seems like that's her. Let's go look for her. I know exactly where she lives, too. She lives right next to Phil's house. Where am I going? Oh, crap. Oh, oh god, I almost got hit by that car. Luckily, I have, like, plus five evasion, so it didn't hit me. What is this? Can I first? Why can't I first person right there? This looks shady. Can I go in? Ah well. A uh, bloop. A uh, bloop. A uh, bloop. A service garage, huh? Motor A cars. You having a nice time thinking about girls? Is it? Yep. <laughs> Lol. And this true Valis do shrink. That's that that's that's who I would call her, alright. Yeah, seriously. I, I thought of her right away, I don't know man. As soon as we started the episode I was like, Well, if she's from that world, she's gotta be this character. I mean, how, I can't blame him. It's not going to be so obvious to Oliver. Not only is he young, but I mean, he's just thrusted into this world with new rules, new mindsets. I don't really expect him to get it right away. You know what I mean? To him, he said, "What was that all about?" To him, he's just seen that girl all the time. You know, as opposed to someone like me who's just looked at her and has kept my mind on her because I'm like, "Well, she's going to be an important character." You know what I mean? You mean 20 cents a gallon is expensive? <laughs> Dude, alright, 20 cents a gallon is not even expensive. Try over here, it's like 375, man. Come on now. It's 375 a freaking gallon. Shut your mouth, alright? You have no right to complain. Good lord. I'm gonna knock on your door. Hi, dog. Nice dog. Nice wolfers. Alright, nice frankerzy. Frank Rizzi, Frank Rizzi. Can I slam dunk this? Yo, you're not tall enough, man. What do you guys say? You know, Drippy, I ought to use you as a basketball and just throw you up there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I know. So why can't we go in here? I thought I was Chie for a second. Oh my god, I can't believe I thought I was Chie. Why can't I cross the street? 
Can I get hit by this car? Time on a second. I want to see what happens if I get hit by this car. Come on, cross the street, cross the street. I'm not going to be able to cross the street, am I? That's unfortunate. Wow, there's a lot of cars today. Oh my god. Hey, look, another, the same one that passed. I like that shade of green. That's actually my favorite color of green. My favorite shade, or one of, and all that. Why am I just goofing around? Someone has a really nice green thumb here. Look at this. Beautiful plants here being grown. I actually grow plants myself, too. Knock. Dude, what kind of knock was that? Who's gonna hear you? <laughs> of course there's no answer. You knock like... It's like you're throwing a penny on the floor, man. Whoa, does she have chin hair? Oh my god. Please tell me she doesn't have chin hair. I would be so grossed out. Friend of Myrtle's? Uh, yeah, I can already tell that. Right? Yep, you're definitely old and silly. I'll tell you what. You also forgot fat and uh, not attractive. Please, I you know I don't even want to know if she had a beard or not. I I just I'd rather just. <sighs> that was a little too scary for me. I don't know how you could keep your lunch there, Oliver. I I would definitely thrown it up. It's not like breaking the law. I like it. Let's do it. Lock pick it is. Huh. Yeah, then you and Mortal could be alone together and cry about nothingness. Seriously, what a bunch of weaklings. Well, they're just kids. They're just kids. It's not easy for a kid. Well, I was able to do it. If I could do it, so can everyone else. What do you mean, no? That's what I did! I'm gonna punch someone in the face. Really. Really. I literally did that already. Maybe there are more than one locks. It's an evil power? What? You've gotta be kidding me. Evil in this door? Doesn't look like it. She's a soulmate of Sage's daughter, after all. You're kidding. Well, let me go around the back way. Maybe that's the only way to do it. Oh, we could go on the roof or something. What? Gosh darn it, P. Why are you following me? <clears throat> what the hell is her game? What is it, man? Yeah, I don't know what the heck's going on. Anyway, I want to know the name of this street. It's like A1 something. A one two three D two three four. Yeah, I'm at the corner of A one two three D and something uh, twenty three D. Did I mean to put twenty three R D like twenty third or something? I don't know. Why do I have to go in there? Who are you? Why do I? How come I can talk to you without a spirit medium? You're not a ghost. Who the hell are you, woman? You know what? Let me take your heart. Ah! It's bothering me. How did she... What? P. Okay. How did she do that? No. No, no. We're gonna figure this out right now. How in the world did she do that? She's either so good she can cancel out the, the evil spell, or she's evil herself, and she was the one who casted the spell. 
That's the only explanation. Those are the only two explanations. Seriously, man. No, 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 no. That's 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 fishy stuff right there. See, I was fine with P until that happened. Like, I don't like her following me, but the, when she who did, are you? Uh oh. My name is Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? Of course. I'm sick. I can't leave this room. Yep, figures. If I go outside, it hurts. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. Well, that sucks. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shut up. Shh. Don't worry, man. No one can hear me by you. I can talk as loud as I want. Yes. That's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Tricky. Can she hear me? Uh huh. That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, uh I. I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? Not at all. No, I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh. Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I hope the family <laughs> know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? She's sad, man. Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dam. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Sounds like a good idea. Oliver, you can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle... Oh, man. This music is really good. It's glorious. It sucks, man. She has such nice dresses in her in her room. She even has a, a dress when she was small, I guess. Yeah, it looks like they could be twins. Just give her a ponytail hair. Yeah, I don't think she's broken heart. She's something else. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's sadness. That that'll get to any child. Believe me. Parents fighting and stuff like that will definitely. I don't understand why parents do that either. It's just like they have no. I don't get it. For a singular child growing up, they don't even care. They just want to argue amongst themselves like they're a bunch of kids. It's funny. It's like sometimes children are even more grown up than adults are. Like, I definitely was more grown up than both my mom and dad when I was a kid. <sighs> You know, it's, it's sort of like it's the opposite thing, you know? It's like, when you're young, you're grown up, then when you get older, you start becoming a kid. What kind of sense does that make, right? Actually, I haven't seen Phil in a, in a hot minute. Let me go check out how he's doing. Yo, Philium, where you at, man? Where is this guy at? He's over here, right? What is he, in school or something? What a loser. What does the map say? Oh, down there. Is that that shop? That yes, that is. That's the automobile shop, the Auto Zone. It's gotta be. There's no reason not to jump. Seriously. Auto repair. That's what it was. Rusty's garage. What's he gonna do? He's gonna beat me. Let's see what's so bad about this rusty guy. Except for his name. Oh, oh god. He's got an evil persona shadow. Like, surrounding him or something. I have no idea. That must be Birdie. Wow. Doesn't she look familiar?
Dude, what's this guy's problem? Oh my god, that's that's depressing. <sighs> Poor Betty, man. Seriously, that's Oh my god, that's so depressing. That housewife, why does she put up with this? Well, he's got a wrench. I don't think we want to be messing with him. Forget his eyes. Look at that wrench. Are you kidding me? That's the most dangerous tool he's got. Nightmare. My friend Jamal told me about a nightmare sequence. He says I need to do the first nightmare sequence before I can rescue Esther. Looks like that's what he was talking about. Okay, I'm not gonna get spoiled in this game anymore. I've learned like three new things about this game, and that makes me mad. Oh my god! Uh, not good. Oh, that sound effect is actually pretty awesome. I've heard it like a million times in different games though. Does not look good. Is that Shadar? Oh no. Uh, Void of Kindness? Rusty's Nightmare. I guess we gotta fight. I, I'd imagine Nightmare would be like going inside a cave or something and doing some kind of dungeon, but it looks like I had to fight something. And I don't feel comfortable putting Ceres up against it right now. So Exodus, come on. Out. I forgot. The center's there for you. Bam. Bam. What is that? What is that orb? Oh, lords! I should have figured. Okay. So far, so good. Alright. Uh-oh. Hard heart. No, 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 I don't want that. I don't want that. <gasps> and I'm blinded. Oh my god. Alright, Sarah, come on over here. Let's heal ourselves. Oh, this is a pretty serious fight. Mm, no, I'm actually not gonna summon him just yet. I blocked, I blocked, I totally blocked. So you can't be hitting me. Perfect. Nice! What's that? What is this? Supercharge! Burning Heart! Let's go! Ouch! Zero MP? Oh, this looks sick! Yes! 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 You what? You're wrecked! Alright. Exodus, come back in. Nice. 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 Poison? Oh lord. A little poison is gonna hurt me. Can I actually use items in this? Oh wait, I didn't know he was charging. Oh crap, I should have paid more attention. Oh crap. Provisions? Oh, you're gonna. Oh, you're, you're totally done. Oh, my lord. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. I don't get another one of those? Oh. Seems to me that I've finished blocking everything. I learned this pattern 100%. Yes. Let's go for it, bro. Let's go for it, bro. Exodus, you know what to do? You know what to do? Supercharge. You know what to do, Exodus? Slash dance. Slash. Ching. Oh. So rape! Oh my god, die! Yeah, shit, wave your hands in the air like an African dancer. LOL. We won! Awesome. And two of our weakest party members leveled up. Looks like Pico's all caught up, sort of. Eh, not really. It's just that it takes longer for us to level up. Alright, Ceres, get a little stronger so I can start using you in battle. Get defeated. <laughs> yeah, taken down by a little boy. <laughs> oh, and, and, and the king of fairies, I guess. Maybe that's just his personality. I mean, it doesn't mean he's broken hearted. Yeah, seriously. I was wondering about that myself. Seems to be like Shadar. Maybe the nightmares are how Shadar began or something like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> Sardarza, he's a... Yo, he plays dirty then, because... He's not even that powerful then. He just attacks your other self. That's just... That's just plain dirty. I'm not saying it's not efficient. It works. It works wonders. It's smart, actually. It's just that... If he really thinks he's supposed to challenge other people like the sages... He wouldn't stand a chance then, right? He's just gonna attack the other self? Maybe he just doesn't want to deal with it. All the hassle, having a fight... If that's the case, who's your other self, Drippy? Yeah, I was just gonna say the mom. Mom seems to do everything and beyond just for her husband. Well, see you later. <laughs> I'm just playing. You should know what's going on, Drippy. Ali, son? Yes. Okay, that was easy. I thought it would take more convincing, but sure. We'll be taking your heart now. <sighs> I apologize for the sniffles, guys. Like, that's... Ah, I need to edit all of this thing out. And I got kindness. Interesting. That's the second one that you get. Kindness is a strolly blue thing, huh? Alright, cart right. You rusty bucket of bolts. Take it. Yeah, yeah. Why do you only control this with D-pad? That's so stupid. Yeah, take some of the kindness. So now, maybe this will open up the girl's heart, and then we have to give her some of the heart enthusiasm, maybe. <laughs> what do you mean, what are you doing here? You're at work, you idiot. Psh, oh my god. 
Lol. <coughs> yeah, like, what are you doing, man? Step aside for a minute. I don't think she'll believe us. I reckon she won't, but... Are you gonna be okay? Aren't you gonna ask me how I did that? Well, I guess not like it matters. Yeah, I'm skipping because I'm happy. One button press at a time. Alright, Myrtle. Time to tell you the good news about your parents. And then we'll end the episode. <sighs> Well, uh... If my father sees you, he'll... Myrtle, come with me. Lol. Huh? You can go outside now. You're not sick anymore. I... I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh. Lol. What are you doing to my daughter? Unhand her, you fall vile civilian. Go on out and play, Myrtle. But... Father? Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to me. I wasn't there when you were sick, when you needed me, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess maybe the thing that was keeping you closed up in here. Maybe it was me. No, it was definitely you. Father. You were scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while, your mother and I would lose the one thing keeping us together. That we... We wouldn't be a family anymore. I'm right, aren't I? That's why you... Why you were... Something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. Father, I... It's alright, sweetheart. Your mother and I... It's gonna be okay. Father! Please, Myrtle. Please forgive me. Oh, I do. Daddy, I do. Are those tears, Bunting? Huh? No, they're not. I don't think he's crying. So much for you being honest. Uh, Oliver? Hmm? Let's go out and play. I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. Will you come with me? Murder. So I've been saying, it's good to see a genuine smile finally. But I'm saying, I don't understand how there could be problems with that nice dear housewife of yours, Betty. What's wrong with her? How could you fight with her? I don't get it. She's so sweet. Uh. And caring. Seriously. Murder. Why is this such a big deal? It's just the outside I world. Did it. Oliver, I did it! I'm outside! I'm outside! I'm actually face palming. <laughs> yeah, you're outside. Congratulations. Now eat some oh, dirt. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> Dude, I want that yellow tie, actually. <sighs> Oliver, thank you so much. You're gonna thank me for taking you outside? I understand the thing about the parents, but outside? Are you serious? Dude, this is this is sad stuff. How could you not like? I, I don't, wow, like it's not even a phobia. She just didn't go outside because she never was allowed to go outside. This is like retarded. Well, that's good. And one good thing, you'll be going to school. You'll be doing this and that. That's good. I'm happy for you. And I'm gonna let you finish. But we gotta go to the other world because we have to rescue Esther and get her to our team. Ah, yo, let me take your courage. I know you just got it and all. And I'm gonna let you finish, but <laughs> I didn't take this courage because it's the best courage of all time. Dude, seriously, come on. We can't just take her. Like, we just. She just got it, man. You can't just give her like a day or two. I mean, a day or two is not gonna kill us. We go to a spa or something, fight some monsters, you know. So what about how about this? If you take the same 
ounce of strength or courage or enthusiasm from the, the, the alternate self, what will it do to the real self or the other self? I wonder. Any any rules on that? I don't know what the hell she's doing, but yeah. I guess like like that. The stout and sturdy force of fearlessness. It's the fat ass S. <laughs> so courage and, and what was it? Kindness feel warm then. I mean, I, I thought I was gonna be burned at the stake, you know, magic, and they see that I'm a wizard. Well, never mind. I guess not. I mean, we're not dad back in time. Ah, my nose is a little stuff. I'm sorry, guys. Just, ugh. Been having the sniffles. Not like I'm sick, just like from allergies and stuff. I mean, it is springtime for the game and in real life here. Springtime for me. Why are you taller than me? That's annoying me. <laughs> Alright, good. Now get to school. Let me talk to your parents. Well, that's nice and all. But I need to go inside and raid you guys' stuff so I can find treasures. So, I guess I could just go back. Damn it, another 30 minute episode? Crap! Alright, guys. We're gonna go to the other world and then we're gonna end the episode because it's been 30 something minutes already yo that's it from now on 20 25 22 minutes 22 minutes seriously man it's getting annoying oh I love how it takes me back to the same place where I left off nice well that saves us the trouble next time guys we're definitely gonna go up there and talk to Esther and recruit her into our party and yada 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 and all that so Stay tuned for the next episode of Nino Kuni. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll check you all out later. Peace out and keep it styling, y'all.